so this is regarding the ABS and brake light being on at both at the same time um, and my ABS kicks on at low speed down to a stop and even after I stop and let off the brakes the uh, the valves will keep pumping um, and so this is how you retrieve the diagnostic codes instead of just replacing parts because that's I already replaced the rear, rear speed sensor because I was doing the rear brakes and it's cheap might as well do it um, it had no metal dust on it looked like it was in good shape I didn't test the product itself but I'm assuming it's actually still good because the problem is still there so what you do is you take a paper clip and you put it in the 13 pin right here right there 13 pin in the data link connector and then I, I just run it to a ground somewhere on the, somewhere on the chassis and then you, you get your codes right here, your blinking codes. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me turn the car off and pull out the data link. And so code nine for an ABS diagnostics is, um, I think, high, high resistance and the wiring for the rear speed sensor so instead of the actual sensor being bad it could be a transmission sensor but the transmission sensor was just replaced under a 70,000 mile warranty so it could be something somewhere in the wiring a break in the wiring which I'm assuming a short to ground or something like that um, but yeah that's how you check the diagnostics instead of just throwing parts of the truck the factory shop manual has a whole a diagnostics breakdown that I'm going to be doing here in a second more more on that but it does does say to only use a, uh, a high high uh, impedance voltmeter I gotta make sure mine is that I don't know it's kinda a new language I was never formally taught that stuff but yeah so here goes the proper diagnostics procedure